Hey guys and welcome back. My name is Safe and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how you can easily use Zoho Notebook. So let's get started. First of all you can create your account from here. However, I'm just going to use the sign in option. And now I'm going to log in with my Google account. I'm going to pick my account. Skip for now. And here we go. So basically, this is how your um, Zoho notebook looks like. So in order to start your first notebook, you can just go and click on plus notebook here. You can also go to this notebook and click on these three dots. Then you can navigate down to, sorry, then you can navigate down to uh, change cover and here you will find multiple covers that you can choose from so for example let's choose something catchy like this you can also upload your own cover from here from upload option now let's go inside our notebook and see what is inside. So basically it's a blank notebook. So in order to start writing, you can just go to uh, right here and, and press on it and you will start writing. Or you can just go to this code which is automatically written in any notebook or any blank notebook and click on it. Then it will give you the option to add it to your notes. I will press on it and here we are. So to, to edit on your notebook, you can just press on it and it will pop up in front of you. So let's add, for example, a title. Um, let's add Hangouts, for example. And here you can edit on your text. You can uh, choose the style. You can choose the alignment. You can also make it like bullet points or numbers. You can add check boxes. You can add a link or you can add an image. You can also add a table. You can insert a code like this. Sorry. Like this. And you can um, insert code if you know about coding. And you can clear the formatting to start from the beginning. Now we can also um, explore this below button. But before exploring it I will show you how to manipulate images in a Zoho notebook so to upload your image you can just go to here and press on insert image then you can uh, navigate to your device to choose an image and here we are so this is my image in order to edit on it I can click on it like this and it will give me multiple options to download it to emit it or to edit it so I will click here and it will start the image edit editor so you can apply all the edits you want. So here we have multiple options. You can highlight any specific object, for example. You can also choose the line of selection like this. You can draw an arrow, for example. You can add a text. You can also add tagging tools like this, for example. And you can uh, blur your image from here and choosing to blur like this. You can also crop your image. And once you are done, you can press on done here. Let's wait for it to load. So now after it's done, I can click on here and here is, here are my change, my changes has been, have been uh, edited. And now you can also explore this below ribbon. So here you can uh, use the spell check to like correct any uh, misspelling or any spelling mistakes you did. 
Here you can add a reminder to yourself. Here you can change the color of your note. Let's, for example, choose another color like this one, like this. And here you can share it. And finally, here you can um, access its information. You can add tags, which is really effective when you have uh, many notes and you are, you are struggling to find them. So if, for example, I added a tag like this and I choose from my existing tags that I have added before, like this tag, for example, you can also add a new tag from here. So now, after I'm done with this, I can just go out and let's just exit this. And if I searched on tags here, I can find my tags. So if I clicked on this, it will pop up in front of me. So this is basically effective when you have large amount or large, large number of notes. Now there is an amazing uh, feature which you can use for Zoho Notebook, which is Zoho Notebook extension. You can search on it on Google Chrome on Google here, and you can go for this first choice. Then you can use add to Chrome here. So let's wait for it to load. And now let's add to Chrome, add extension. Perfect. Now you can um, go to any website you want, for example, like list of best hangouts, for example. So now let's choose Words best restaurant selection, for example. Okay, now let's see a list. I don't think it contains a list. It's just one one restaurant. So now let's Let's search, for example, on list of best restaurants. And now let's pick this one. Accept cookies. And now let's, for example, uh, pick this restaurant, for example, in Madrid. And if I want to add it to my notes, then I will have two options. The first one is to go to my extensions, go to notebook and choose bookmark. Then add this website to the, to my bookmark and press and done. And now I can go to uh, my notebook again and I can go to here. It has been uploaded so I can press on it. I can even I can use the reader views to, uh, in order to just view it or I can use the original view so I will just pick the reader view for example and I will wait for it to load here it is so I could access this note I can also choose the other way to open it which is going here and choose open in new tab by pressing here you can find all what is about the page that you have bookmarked before now let's move on to the next way which is using screenshots so by pressing on a screenshot i can take any specific part of this document for example, and I press done. And now my screenshot has been successfully taken, but I just made this selection. So it, it has appeared as a selection and not as a, uh, as a cropped uh, part. So in order to just select a specific part, 
you can go to screenshot and instead of clicking on it you can just click on the drop down menu choose part of the page and now you can select the specific part you want to take then press on capture and done once this is done you can press on done here and you can go back to your notebook then wait for it to load and here it is it has been it has popped up so if i clicked on it i will find my image successfully updated so this is basically how easy and how um so remarkably um useful it is to use zoho notebook and to take all your bookmarks you want in the form of notes so that's it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial if you like this video press on like then subscribe to our channel thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos until then take care and goodbye